problem has the same scenario as last time. Same rectangular box, same dimensions, same set of electric fields through the faces. The question is now asking, what is the net charge inside the box? Gauss's law tells us that the net flux through a closed surface, such as this box, this box is a closed surface, is equal to the charge enclosed by the surface divided by epsilon zero. We know what the flux is from before. It's 0.36. So we have 0 0.36 voltmeters as our net flux for the box. Therefore, the unknown charge that is inside that box divided by epsilon naught or epsilon zero however you prefer to say it, 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. And then solving for Q enclosed, that's going to be 0.36 times 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12, and that gives us 3.186 times 10 to the minus 12 coulombs. And notice that since the net electric flux in this case was positive, the charge enclosed is going to be positive. If the net electric flux had been negative, then the charge enclosed would be negative. And also, this is the net electric charge that's enclosed. It could be one charge with that much. It could be many different charges in some arrangement whose net is that amount. We don't know. We just know how much net charge is inside that surface. And that should yield us choice one.